Hi all, in this session we are going to learn about design thinking and the various phases of design thinking. First let's understand what is design thinking. Design thinking is simply a process for creative problem solving. Design thinking is a non-linear iterative process that teams use to understand users, challenge assumptions, redefine problems and create innovative solutions to prototype and test. The typical design thinking process consists of five phases, emphasize, define, ideate, prototype and test. It is most useful to solve problems that are ill-defined, that means problems which are unclear or unknown to the designer. These are the five phases of design thinking process, emphasize, define, ideate, prototype, test. This is not performed in a linear fashion. That means we can perform these phases intermixed. That means after emphasis we can do ideate or prototype. During prototype we can again go back and redefine the process and then we have to ideate new things etc. So these processes are not done in the sequential order in a particular design thinking process. Instead it is done iteratively to get the best innovative and creative solution. Next. Let's understand each phase in detail. The first phase is emphasize. The aim of this phase is research your user's need. So while designing a particular product, the designer should first understand what the end user is expecting from that particular system. Emphasize is the process where the designer plays themselves as an end user and identify the user expectations and their needs. Empathy is crucial to human-centered design process such as design thinking because it allows you to set aside your own assumptions about the world and gain real insight into users and their needs. So this emphasize process can be done through various subphases like interview with the customer or shadowing the customer. Shadowing the customer means uh, giving a product to the customer and follow the customer and see how the customer is using that particular product and what are the difficulties they are facing while using that particular product and then rectifying those errors in that particular product. This process is called as shadowing. We can identify the user needs through conducting surveys by preparing a question paper and giving it to the users and by analyzing and studying the user replies the designer can identify the expectations of the user from that particular system. The designer can also research other similar products in the market. They can find out the existing problems and thereby finding new solutions for that existing problems. So the main aim of the emphasis phase is to identify the end user needs and expectations from the system being developed. The next phase is define. The aim of this phase is to state your users needs and problems. So in this phase, the designer accumulate the information gathered during the emphasize stage. During the emphasize stage, the designer gathered the user needs through questionnaire, surveys, documentation, research, interviews, etc. And all these user needs are properly defined in this particular statement. The definition of the user needs in a standard format or a formulated manner is called as problem statement. The problem definition should be clear and unambiguous. That means there should not be any two user needs which is conflicting with each other. And in this phase, define the objectives or user requirements that is expected from that particular system. The next phase is ideate. Ideate is the phase where the designer make some assumptions and create their own ideas. Here the designer should think outside the box and look for alternative ways to view the problem and identify innovative solutions to the problem statement you have created. Brainstorming is particularly useful here. Brainstorming is simply finding out different different solutions for a particular problem and just noting all these points in a sticky note or on a whiteboard and after sometime analyzing or going through all these particular solutions and finding out the best suitable or feasible idea. The next phase is prototyping. This is one of the most important phase of design thinking phase. Here we have to start creating solutions of the problem. This is an experimental phase. The aim is to identify the best possible solution for which the problem found. 
So during the ideate phase, we will have identified different different solutions for the same problem. In this prototyping phase, we will create an inexpensive scaled down versions of the product to investigate and validate the ideas they have generated. This could involve simply paper prototyping, simulations, 3D models, animations, etc. Paper prototyping can be used for designing graphical user interface based designs or any other real time designs. Here I am showing the example of a mobile application. Here we are using paper prototyping for designing the different different screens of a particular mobile application. This may be the look and feel of the home page of our mobile application. If you are clicking on this particular button, it will go through the next page with this type of view. And if the user is selecting this option, it will go to this page and so on. So the pro so the paper prototyping is used for identifying the look and feel of the actual system or a application in a graphical manner. The next way is creating a 3D model. 3D modeling is the miniature version of an actual system using some sort of 3D printers or, or any other 3D modeling techniques. Next is simulation. Simulation means creating the virtual form of an actual system. Simulator and animations are used for how a system may actually work in a particular scenario. This can be shown with the help of an animation video which is used in the movie Kathi. In that movie, the actor Vijay is looking through the simulations of the various pipelines used in that particular city. So let's see this video. After finding out the solutions using simulation or prototyping, we have to test whether the solutions will work fine in the real-time environment or not. Here the evaluators rigorously test the prototype. Although this is the final phase, design thinking is iterative. So after testing, if an error or issue is identified, the process is reverted back. Again the ideate phase or the prototype phase will be iterated repeatedly till the product is built successfully and tested successfully. So they can return to the previous stages to make further iterations or alterations and refinements to identify the best alternative solution. So this is the various phases involved in design thinking. So the summary of the design thinking is first the designer should think in the perspective of the end user and then find out the user needs. After that define each user requirement without any ambiguity. Then ideate or identify the solution for each of the user requirements then build a prototype for that solution and after that test the prototype and iteratively continue this process till the designer finds out the best solution for that problem after finding out the best solution or the best prototype start the actual implementation of the system so this is the summary of design thinking process thank you